So you have a cedar chest that's been sitting in your basement. It was passed down from generation to generation and you don't know what to do with it. Here's what I did with this one. To get started, I filled in all of the damage, not all of the damage because I still wanna keep some character to the piece, but a lot of the damage. Sanded everything smooth and then I had to figure out what to do with these feet. Three out of the four of them were damaged. I was going to bondo them and make a mold, but instead we just decided to cut them off. I primed everything and then went in with my favorite black by Sherwin-Williams, this is Black Magic. The client I'm doing this chest for is the same client that I did the Pottery Barn dupe pieces for. So to tie all the pieces together, we did the Pottery Barn faux finish to the legs. If you wanna see how I do the Pottery Barn faux finish, check my reels, I have it pinned. Some Big Mama's Butter by Dixie Belle to condition the inside. Now let's remember this before. And here is the beautiful after. One of my favorite things about doing heirloom pieces is that even though it has a whole new look, it's still the same piece and it still holds all of those special memories you have with it. Stay tuned for the next one.